In this video, I'm going to show you an 11 step process of how to use a Facebook page for affiliate marketing. Let's get started. Hello YouTube, it's Austin and welcome to my channel where I help you find success online. Be sure to like, subscribe and ring the bell if you're interested in different tips and tricks on how to find success online. All right, so as I mentioned in this video, there is a 11 step process. It seems like it's a lot, but it's really not on how you could use a Facebook page to make money. Now, I'm sure you're assuming, hey, I'm on Facebook all the time. Uh, my friends are on Facebook basically just about everything that I do is on Facebook while I'm at work, maybe a third of the time that you're awake, you're on Facebook for various reasons, and you wanna know how you can make money while being on something that you're on anyway, and this video is definitely gonna help you out. Now, I'm going to assume that you have already picked out your niche. If you haven't already picked a niche, uh, I definitely recommend that you check out some of my other videos, but basically what a niche is, it's a topic, it's a focus, it's an area where you're going to create content. So what we're going to do is we're just going to jump right in, we're gonna start with creating a page, and then we're gonna move from there. But before we get started real quick, um, I just wanna make sure that you understand that Facebook hates when you attempt to move people off of the Facebook, um, the, the Facebook app or the Facebook uh, website. They will punish your content if you attempt to do that. So you keep that in mind. That's why I'm going to structure the content the way that I'm going to do it because I understand, I realize that Facebook does not want you to take people away from Facebook. That's how they make their money. Facebook doesn't want you to promote stuff because that's how they make their money. Anytime they can sell stuff, they, they get money from ads and, and selling stuff directly, other products and services. So just know that going in and there's a strategic plan that you need to, to follow in order to successfully affiliate market and make some money. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to cl click the create button. It's at the top right hand corner. Now, depending on when you're watching this video, it may be different, but there should be a create button at the top right. Next, we are going to select page. There are a bunch of different options. You can create ads. You can create groups, you can do all sorts of different things, but we're just going to create page. Now the next step is where it can get a little bit confusing, a little bit murky. There are two options. You can either create a business page or a public figure page. For, for the purposes of our goal of affiliate marketing, we're going to create a business page that kind of gives Facebook a heads up of the type of content we're going to create and make so that they're not caught off guard, they're not surprised, and we don't get punished in the algorithm. So make sure that you click business page. Now, when you do this, you can either do it as a business, so like um, you could do it like uh, affiliate networking online.com, or you could use your name. You could still use your name, Alston Godbolt, or whatever your name is, as your business page, but just know that you can either do like an LLC if you've got an established business or you can create this page based off of your name and your information. The next step is we're gonna go in and we're just going to fill out all of the information. You wanna, you want to make this as complete as possible. Fill out your brand, um, put an address, add as much content, add as much information. You want people to see that there, there's an actual person and not a bot, um, you're not a spy or anything like that. You have, um, you, you care about them, you care about whatever issue that they're going through because that's ultimately what it's about. We're in, in, we're in affiliate marketing because we wanna solve problems and you wanna present that as, hey, I'm a human being, I'm here to solve your problem. So make sure that you fill out all of the information. Again, show that you're a real person, add pictures if you can. If you've got pictures of you doing different things, um, skiing, playing sports, basketball, whatever, as long as it relates to your business. So let's say your, your niche is, um, affiliate marketing with basketball. Make sure that you have a couple videos, a couple um, um, pictures of you shooting jump shots, playing defense, doing whatever it is, but just make sure that you have some pictures there that incorporate your niche into uh, the, the information, the pictures that you have. So again, make sure that this is a business. You wanna make sure that the pictures are professional and tasteful because image is everything in the words of the old Sprite commercial. Image is everything, thirst is nothing. Thirst is nothing, image is everything, whatever. Anyway, the next step is you want to invite friends and family to this page. You need at least 100 likes before you can start taking advantage of some of the other features that are that are available with your, your, your page, your Facebook page, but invite as many people as possible because this is going to be the storefront essentially for your business. So get a uh, 100, uh, get so the first metric I believe is 20 or 25. The next metric to unlock all the features is 100. So do whatever it takes to get 100. Obviously, um, you can actually pay. You could you could do an advertisement where you can get likes. Um, that might not be necessary depending on how large your network is. If you have 
Um, if you have other social media outlets, like let's say Instagram, you can refer people and have people like your page that way, but you want to get to a hundred likes so that you can uh, start doing some of those other features. Now, the next step is key. And this is where we kind of get into the meat of everything. The next step is you want to start adding content. Um, you want to create a schedule in which you add content. Now, what I do, what I, what I like to do is I like to repurpose some of my YouTube videos onto my Facebook fan page so that it's a little bit easier for me and I can schedule those out. With that being said, when you're creating content, while, while text is nice, image is better, and video is the best. So if you can create video content, and the reason why you wanna do video content is the algorithm and Facebook, they realize that there is higher engagement with video content. If someone stays and watches a video on YouTube, they're gonna be on there longer because they're gonna watch the entire video. If someone, uh, if, if someone sees a text, maybe they skim through it and they look for relevant information. If they see a picture, they may look at the picture for a couple seconds. But if you have a 10 minute video, people are going to stay for, let's say eight minutes of that video. So you want to, if possible, upload video. Uh, you can do it same day, you can do it real, you can do it scheduled. I personally like to schedule it out just so that uh, I can kind of set it and forget it. Again, what I do, and, and you can do this, I, re, I, I just repurpose my YouTube video, my thumbnail, and also the description. I just copy and paste it all right over so that I don't have to duplicate efforts. I don't have to overthink it. And then the next step when you're adding content is make sure you add tags. Now, the, the thing, the weird thing with Facebook is that their tags are completely different than YouTube. So you've got to go in and kind of find tags that are relevant to the content. You might not find things that are exactly it, but try and find something that's a close, uh, like, like let's say that, that runs in parallel to your content. So add as many tags, maybe like four or five, and then schedule it out and then just send it out there. You wanna do this for a little while. It's gonna take probably uh, at least a month of consistent content uh, before you start getting organic traffic. And to help with that, we're actually going to talk about getting, tra getting traction next. So we're going to, we're, we're creating content, we're uploading it, and we're looking for organic traffic. In the meantime, we are, inviting people to like the page from other platforms as i mentioned use quora use uh, reddit use youtube use your twitter uh, snapchat whatever you have whatever social media outlets you have you want to invite people to like your facebook page because the more people like your facebook page the better the algorithm is going to work for you it's all about the algorithm believe it or not if you can get a let's say let's say you get 100 people and Facebook has a data model, and I apologize if this is getting too technical, but Facebook has a data model on basically every user. And so they're getting an idea of who would like the, the content that you're providing. And because of that, they can actually send your page out to relevant party. So Facebook is going to do the work for you as long as you get, let's say like a hundred people to like your page, because again, it's going to give Facebook and the algorithm a rough idea of the people they should target. Because again, Facebook wants to keep their users on Facebook. Um, any social media platform is like that. YouTube, Twitter, whatever. They want to keep you there because that's where they make their money. Anyway, so getting traffic, you're going to invite people to, from other platforms to like your page. Next, consider doing paid ads for likes that may seem daunting or scary but you can set up a ad uh, an ad program or or an ad placement for five dollars a day and you could do that for two weeks um, you can do that for as long as you like as short as you like it's not that expensive yet to do it um, and if you're really looking to grow your business with Facebook and a Facebook page, that might be something that you wanna look into. You don't absolutely have to do it. Getting the, the, placing the ads for the likes will help accelerate your business, but you can actually make money with affiliate marketing without it. Uh, again, the next step is also using hashtags. This is going to be key when trying to, when the algorithm tries to find people for you um, to, to market your information to. So again, um, so far we have uh, created a Facebook page, we have selected business, we've added as much information as possible, we are on a content schedule, and now we've already looked at getting traffic both organically and trying to force or create an algorithm. The next step that we wanna do, and I like to do it in this fashion, 
is I like to find affiliate programs after I've already started creating content and uploading content. It's much easier to just go back and add an affiliate link uh, versus trying to find an affiliate program that matches what you're doing. Create the content and then go out and and look for affiliate programs after. The easiest way to find an affiliate program is just to uh, go to Google, go to your favorite search engine and type in niche affiliate programs. For example, if we're doing a, a uh, if we're looking to be an affiliate for basketball, you just type in basketball affiliate programs and there will be a number of opportunities for you. There will be uh, clothing, there will be software, uh, training information, uh, basketballs, anything that you can think of with regard to to the game of basketball, there's an affiliate market out there. So don't focus on the affiliate program yet. It's most important that you start getting content because the sooner you get content, the more you get content, the more opportunities that you get to get traffic. And don't be hesitant with with putting up information. Don't be scared. Don't think, hey, my my information, my 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 content isn't very good. That's fine. It's more important that you have content out there than your content has to be perfect. In, in my opinion, very rarely will you have content that is perfect. You don't need perfect content to go viral. You just need content. The more opportunities you have the, to get in front of a customer, a potential customer, the more opportunities for success. So remember that. Make sure that you, you take advantage of that and just keep uploading content. Anyway, continuing on, you have found the affiliate program. And then now we're going to add our affiliate links, but we're not going to add them to every piece of content. We are going to add them to maybe one out of every five posts. And the reason why we're doing that is again, Facebook wants to keep their users on Facebook and there is suspicion will we'll say that Facebook hates affiliate marketers. So in order to uh, not get lost in the, the algorithm to get thrown in and, in and, and get punished by the algorithm, we're only going to add affiliate links to one out of every five um, posts that we make. So if you've got 30 posts out there, 30 divided by five is six. And basically, one way to kind of uh, nudge this or to get around it is instead of adding affiliate links directly, add a landing page for email marketing. Now, if you know anything about me, you know anything about this channel, I'm a huge proponent of email marketing. Email marketing will help you in this situation because you're not sending them directly to an affiliate offer. If Facebook hates affiliate marketers, you wanna get around that by sending them to a landing page where you collect their email address and you're not sending them directly to an affiliate offer. Facebook can't see what's behind that second or third page. And so they're not going to punish you. What I recommend, if you can afford it, it's an investment. You will receive a, a great return on your investment. If you invest in email marketing, if you don't want to invest in a website, invest in email marketing. Three reasons why you should invest in email marketing. One, it converts at much higher rate. Number two, it takes between five and 12 touch points before a, a lead becomes a customer, becomes a buyer. And three, you can actually retarget them for multiple offers. So using that basketball example again. So let's say you are in the training sub niche of basketball. Uh, you have noticed that the customer has purchased maybe let's say like ladders, uh, basketball ladders, we'll call them. You can also retarget them for maybe a training DVD or digital download. Email marketing is an incredible opportunity if you are willing to invest in it. Continuing on. So basically that that's what you want to do with, with Facebook because there is a theory out there that, that Facebook hates affiliate marketers and we know that Facebook hates getting people off of Facebook. Send them to a landing page one out of every five posts and you just keep doing that another way that you can kind of force the issue is by joining relevant facebook groups so if there's a there's i'm sure there's a ton of facebook groups about basketball join those groups talk about it add some value and then point people back to your facebook page say hey look if you want up-to-date information about the nba or march madness or whatever it is join like and and follow my my page where i talk about uh, basketball, different basketball news every single day. If you want to know everything that I know about affiliate marketing, check out the first link in the description. In addition to learning and knowing everything that I know about affiliate marketing, you'll also get a free guide to learn email marketing. This is a free PDF that you'll get uh, just for entering your email address. So make sure you click that first link in the description and I'll see you in the next video.